This came out of a Goodman 2008. And uh, you could hear them. So you could hear that through all the vents as soon as the furnace came on. Um, I believe all it is is a bearing. Anyway, the replacement completely solved the problem. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Uh, I'm going to take this apart, see if I can't replace the bearings. Just sell it as a reserviced unit. Okay, I got them apart. The way I got them apart was to take a, a blow dryer, heat this up right here, get it nice and hot. And then where these were together, it gave me something to hit against. I took something soft like this plastic plastic bolt, and that gave me a good place to hit. I just held it, hit it with a hammer, knocked it there, started to come loose, hit it here. Worked my way around and it came apart. So that was there was silicone sealant in that crack. And it was just there was a bead around here. It was holding them together. That's all it holds it together. And I've cleaned out that, uh, you know, there was like a thin line of silicone seal around here that I cleaned out. Figured I might as well conclude this video. It's pretty much uh, a wash. The fan was on this side. There was really no way to get that hub off. It was molded in there. There was a press fit uh, inner hub made out of metal that's over molded. Really no way to get the, uh, the fan off the shaft. So if I were to do it again, and I was trying to replace the bearing, I think what I would have done is uh, show you how it goes back together. Basically you've got the bearing sits in here like this. And then here's the shaft I've destroyed. This the fan was hooked onto this end. I drilled it out. So this is the end that sticks up that you can see visibly. So you'd work your way in there. You'd remove this thing. Then this would be exposed. And I wouldn't even take any of this off. I'd have the shaft sticking out with all this in place with the bearing here I would just come at it with a puller I'd put the puller around here or around here I'd press this thing all the way through you'd be pressing against this thing is press fit onto here like that the shaft isn't it's a press fit and then this inner bearing it's also pressed on so you've got a bearing here a bear you know and then the bearing here it's all pressed on there I just take the puller I press this thing all the way through and then your fan would come out pop out the other side then simple matter of putting your bearing in place you wouldn't even have to unbolt this thing bring the shaft back through um, how would you push on the fan and the shaft on the other side well I was able to knock the shaft out with a hammer 
So I don't think you'd have to push that hard. I think you could do it without damaging the, the, the impeller. Anyway, so you'd have the shaft coming out. You'd press the shaft out. And then you'd press this onto the shaft. You'd have this here. And then you'd just press your other bearing on. Um, basically, you could, you know, theoretically, you wouldn't even have to take this thing off. <laughs> um, but, you know, you might as well. And anyway, so once you get everything in place, this just drops on and you'd be home. Um, hope that helps. Yeah, let's see. Here's the bearing that came out of it. NMB 608-66D21. Both of them are the same. That's it. I think it would have worked if I knew what I was doing. Okay. Good luck.